Hey guys and welcome to another review and today I'll be reviewing the newly renovated Scooby Doo Spooky Coaster Next Generation a Mac custom wild mouse coaster located at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast. Ah, uh, where do we even start with this ride? I do first want to say that this was my first ever coaster so my nostalgia levels for this ride are very high. So when they recently closed it down for renovations I was highly anticipating the new features it had to offer. I also want to say that most of the footage that will be included in this video is not mine and belongs to Parks on the Coast and other creators that will be credited in the description. Anyways, so let's get into this. So, uh, in the exterior of the building hasn't really changed very much, apart from like the sign and it's been repainted well, which is always good uh, to see. But other than that, there's not really too many changes. Um, so once you go inside, you'll see a, on the right side, you'll see like, I'm guessing where they're still renovating it on the right side of the queue line, the queue. Uh, type of area where you queue up for the ride. Uh, they do on the right side still have um, uh, barriers up, so I don't know, that's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, so uh, sadly the queue line is still pretty much looking the same. They still have the, the behind the scenes footage from Scooby Doo, the movie, uh, on those massive screens, uh, which we all wanted classic Scooby Doo movie episodes, but whatever. Now, my expectations for Scooby Doo was very high, but what I was expecting was very low. And then I'll get to what I mean by that in a minute, but just keep that in mind. Now, if you don't know what actually happened to Scooby-Doo, it had renovations to the theming and the overall kind of uh, atmosphere of the ride. Because if you don't know, Scooby-Doo used to have a full dark rank section before the Wild Mouse part. Um, so it had a lot of theming around there, so it was going to get, you know, spriced up in that kind of uh, section there. So the layout is completely the same. Uh, they have not changed the layout one bit. It's just that the theming around the ride has changed. So that's what I mean by renovations. Now, once you're going through that dark ride section, you're going to realize that a lot of the old props have came back, which is awesome. I love to see. Uh, so some of the noticeable ones were the knights. Uh, I think they're a little bit different. I think they have like I think they used to have like green eyes. Now they have red eyes. I don't think they're too. I don't think they are as good as they used to be, but they do look very similar. So. I'm fine with that. Uh, you also got that spinning weird guy that laughs. I don't really know what he is. You also got that monster jumps out of you just before the, uh, the axes. The axes are back and they do have the sounds on them as well, which is great. Uh, and also has that really skinny kind of jump scary guy, uh, uh, jump scary prop, but he's in a different area now uh, of the, uh, the dark ride section. So there's a very noticeable props that have um, came back, which is very good to see. And there's also a pretty good projection where the U mirror used to be before the elevator. It's now like a it's like a projected mirror, like a camera, and then there's like those uh, uh, purple monsters from the movie that come out uh, to attack your train, which is pretty cool. Um, that's that's oh, I, that's probably one of my favorite projections, and also one of my favorite new additions was the elevator. Uh, and the elevator has TVs where Scrappy Doo pretty much I think lifts you up to the top which is great because it gives some entertainment for the guests as they don't really realize that they're actually like going up right now in the elevator which is kind of cool it kind of you know puts their mind off what's actually happening right now uh, and also kind of messes with your visibility uh, where you can see because before on the elevator you can actually see straight in front of you you can see where the warehouse ends and they, there's just a massive t TV screen in front of you now one of the really bad things about the dark ride section is the projections which I mentioned before. Now the reason why I just don't like dislike the projections is they just they don't feel right. And I've said this before, but I actually rather just where the projections are just to be completely like uh, just a themed wall and that's it. Like no props, no nothing. I'd rather that than a projection. The only projection I'd really keep is I, think, I guess the elevator, a like, technically a projection, and the one uh, the mirror. But either than those two, all the other projections kind of just, for me just feel out of place in the dark ride section. Um, and an also a really bad thing about them is most of the days they don't work. My, my recent visit to Dream, uh, not Dream, one Movie World, <laughs> is that the projections half of them weren't working. The, the mirror one wasn't working. One of the TV screens, uh, the elevator one wasn't working, so it was just a pitch black TV screen as well. Uh, and I think it was the projection at the end of the ride before the secret drop wasn't working either. Yeah, that was a huge letdown, and it wasn't even on a quiet day. It was actually on a pretty busy day. It was on a Sunday. So I, I I was really baffled by that. I was like, that's really stupid. Like, the, have you have you broken the ride already? I don't know. That really did disappoint me. But anyways, after the elevator, you pretty much have the same ladder used to be. It goes 
uh, does that drop, uh, and then you have the turntables, which is my next argument, well, my next criticism I have. So, I don't even know what this is, so if, you know, if you've been on the ride, you know what it is. The turntable, where you, when you go down the backwards drop, and then you turn and go forwards do the mouse part, uh, it has a weird, I don't even know what to call it, like a futuristic type globe, not a globe thing, but it was, it, I don't know, it's very weird, like, I think it's supposed to be like you're going to the future or something, I don't know, it's such a weird thing, and it actually really hurts your ears as well, it just, it, that's, it was nothing to do with Scooby, so I don't know why it's there, anyway, so you go down to the mouse, mouse ride part, it's pretty much the same, uh, sadly, when I went, apparently it's supposed to be like fog and like lasers, and sadly, the twice I've been uh, to Movie World, uh, with the new generation, it, it they have not been working, so that's a little bit of a letdown either. But what I really like about the Wild Mouse part is uh, there's no trims uh, until you get to like the first drop, so you f get flown down those uh, those really tight turns, which I really do like. Uh, so it's a really good Wild Mouse coaster overall. Um, so also one thing to say that if you don't know the Harry Potter sp Harry Potter spider is also there. Um, now before it was uh, everything was scrapped and all the props were torn down. Uh, you could actually, that the light kind of shined on him so you can see him, but now that light didn't work and it still is not working, so if you're not really looking out for him, you're not going to see him. Um, anyways, other than that, there's like little bits here in th of theming or in the, uh, the disco room. Uh, nothing too special there, uh, until you get to the, the, uh, the final break, which is the secret drop, which is also there in projection, which it didn't work. Um, I forgot what was on the projection, but I remember it's probably those purple purple monsters on there again. Then you go for the, per uh, the, the the secret drop, and then it's the end of the ride. So, yeah, it's, you know, personally, I still think it's the best Wild Mouse coaster in the world. Uh, it's still a really fun ride, it's good for kids. Uh, I just really just felt like it was so rushed, and to rush, what I mean by that is to get it open for the school holidays. I think that's what they tried to do there, because it pretty much did open on school holidays. Uh, so that's what I think, that's what they think they try to do, so I still think, I, I do know they're still developing it, but we'll see what happens. But my personal opinion, I was very disappointed and let down by it. It's still a very fun ride by all means, but I was expecting, as I said before, I was expecting so much from it. Maybe a little bit too much, but I was expecting that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys later.